What is up you guys, in today's video we're going to be installing some high quality Raptor lights on the Toyota Tacoma. Let's get right to it. Alright so here are the Raptor lights and I've actually done a video on installing these before on my SR5 which was a cement grey color and the TRD Pro grill that I had on there had a little bit of grey so there's some different things that made it look a little bit different and with this one I really want to see how it's going to look on my army green especially during the day and at night as well. Anyways let's go ahead and install them and open these because in here are actually some really high quality ones and you guys can grab these using the link in my description below. They're from Amazon and this company sent them out to me. But these are a little bit different because the LEDs on here look really high quality and I'll show you guys right now. All right, so here they are. So I'm going to grab one of these and you can even see, look at this, you can see how high quality they look. So I'm actually super excited. The other ones that I got were pretty cheap and I mean obviously you get what you pay for. And these are on Amazon like I said and I will get a slight kickback if you use the link in my description below. Alright so the first thing you want to do obviously open your hood. Here we go. And these are basically just plug and play. You just pop them right in here and then connect the lines all the way to the fuse box right here and then you want to ground it to your block. Okay, so when you take it out of the box, you want to go ahead and just push down on this little thing and just disconnect each little piece. All right, there you go. So this is going to be our wiring. We can worry about that in a little bit. But for now, all you want to do is take each little piece, flip it over from the back and then push these little clamps in out of here. So the little casing right here can just come out and you want to take this and put it away and now all you want to do is come from this side and just pop them in place just like this, feed it through the back and clamps right in. So there's a whole bunch of different ways you can actually do it. You can put one and then skip a slot and then put one and skip one or you can put them all next to each other. But for my last one, I actually lined them up all right next to each other. So for this one, I kind of want to have them spaced out and that's what I'm going to do. So once these are all pushed in like this, you come from the back and here are the cords just hanging out. And the one that I told you guys, let's put aside, we just go ahead and open them and then I'm going to click them all together and then I'll show you guys where to hide this wire. Alright, so you want to make sure that they're going to be organized. So have them flat like this and just do the farthest one on the left side so they're not like, you know, all tangled up all over the place. And I'm going to go ahead and feed them all through and plug them in one by one. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So now you want to take this part right here and just feed it under everything. So move this down like this and there's going to be a space right here. You can feed it right into this little pocket. Also put it under here so we can go to the fuse box. So I'm also going to get some black tape and I'm going to tape it in under here in a couple different places. But as long as it's tucked away for now, we can do that after. So now you want to come on over to the fuse box and there's just a couple clamps just to pop this open. All right. We're actually going to go for this one right here. So there's going to be two that are sideways and we're just going to go for 10A, which is going to be this first one right here. Take out your little tool, go to go to this first one right here. Mine looks a little different because I've messed with it before but you just use your tool just to pop it right out in the box. It's actually going to come with this so what you want to do here take this fuse that we just popped out in this socket right here. Alright so now it is just like that and there's two pieces right here and now we're going to connect this little strand to this right here and it's super easy to do that. All you do is basically shove it in there and clamp it in place. So this one's obviously going to be grounded so you just want to take this red one Go like this right in here once it's all the way in and then clamp it in place. Push this little green part just like that. So by the way guys, this stuff, like I said before, is really high quality. All the wirings and all the cables, they feel really nice so you know you're getting your money's worth. So now let's go ahead and put this in the same exact spot that I took the old 10 amp fuse out of. So the way you want to actually put it in is go ahead and just twist it a little bit to the back and then and then pop that right back in place. And the reason I did that, so when I close the box, this wire isn't coming right next to the clamp right here. It's gonna come out a little bit through this part so it can close on it. But now let's go to the black and all we're gonna do is come to right here and I'll show you guys how to unscrew that just with this. 
and then we're gonna put the black one and tighten it back up. All right, now after you're done with that, you wanna go ahead and just put everything away. Make sure you save all your clamps and your extra fuses if anything happened. And like I said, this one, just put it to the side and then you wanna tuck it in and make sure you're not closing it next to a clip because it could pinch it and may cut it. So there you go, just like that. And now we are all done. So this is actually gonna be connected to your lights. So when your lights turn on, those are gonna be on. And when your lights are off, they will be off as well. By the way guys, if you are messing up or you get caught up on any part, they give you another one of these red ones with a different fuse. And they also give you a manual that has every single step you need in order to do this correctly. So even if you got lost in my video or maybe I went too fast on a step for you, they have it all written out. And like I said, you can grab this using the link in my description below. But let's go ahead and check it out how it looks during the day and at night. All right, you guys, well, usually with Raptor lights, you either love them or you either just don't like them at all. But for me, they kind of been growing on me. I took them off my last truck and then I kind of regretted it and I wanted to keep them on. I got a lot of people telling me the same thing, you should have kept them on. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. They look really nice, so I may keep them on for a while. We'll see how long I decide to do it for. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys can please help out the channel by giving a quick like and a subscribe, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.